Today we're having Indian food. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I haven't had Indian food on this channel ever. So I might call it my first time, even though I've had Indian food. <sighs> now I'm kind of out of breath. I just had to walk over here, but I identify as skinny, as y'all know. <laughs> And by the way, you can buy my t-shirts that say I identify as skinny. They're back up on my site. Link in the description box. It's just waterweight.com. So if you also identify as skinny, click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Um, so if you also identify as skinny, you know, everyone's changing their identities these days. <sighs> well, mine's now skinny. So you need to call me that. Thank you. And also, it's just water weight is back up. So if you want one of those shirts or hoodies, it's on my website. Yay, it's finally back. <sighs> Today we're having Indian. Now, a big shout out to the Hungry Fat Chick, because we do Indian all the time together. And I'm like, I've never done it ever on this channel, and it's so good. So this might go viral. Or not, we don't know. <clears throat> and I don't care, because I love Indian food. I have a whole list of things today. Um, oh, I want to shout out Prince... Maverna Sirngoli. Now, I don't know, there's discussion if he's really a prince or not. That doesn't really concern me. What does concern me is that he endured years, this man, he's like 40 or 50 years old, he endured years of conversion therapy, <clears throat> um, and uh, he has become India's first openly, beep, royal in the country. Now he's looking to end the practice of conversion therapy. Um, I think, wow, India has really come a far way. I'm so glad they got rid of that it was against the law to be someone like me. It was against the law. Like, you can go to jail for being this type of person. What? I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not affecting anybody. I still pay my taxes. I still, you know, follow the traffic laws and the business laws. I mean, I'm still a good person, but because what I do behind closed doors, that matters to, you know, that's the discussion. So I'm really proud of India. I'm like, oh, I just got to have to have India now. And um, it's really funny because if you ask Indian people, they'll say before the British people came and took over and told them how to run their place, which they're the ones that imposed the penal code of saying, it's illegal to be like me. They had openly people. I can't say the word on YouTube. I don't know. They had people that were open and they, it really didn't matter so much. It mattered more when the British came in and said, not to, not to, not to, you can't do this. So thank goodness India is changing for the better. They still have ways to go, um, but they are a beacon of light compared to their neighbors. Now, their neighbors, I'm not going to say their names, y'all know, they treat people like me way worse. <clears throat> way worse. So I don't want to hear like, oh, he's virtue signaling, he's, you know, trying to go next door, go up, go down, go all around. The people like me, off with their heads. So I don't want to hear how it's not enough. It's, it's, a first step in the right direction. Um, and it actually breaks my heart thinking of their neighboring countries, these innocent tens of thousands of people um, killed and jailed every year for just existing. Makes me really sad, um, but hey, that's their neighbors. So what we're going to do, and that was not because of, well, we're not gonna talk about it. <clears throat> What we're gonna have today is Indian food. I have my trusty eating tray, which you can purchase, by the way. I'll probably link it. This I bought on Amazon. Everyone's always asking me, I wanna be a mukbanger. I wanna eat food on camera. You can. Get your iPhone, like me. Get a tray off Amazon, put your food on top, and call it a day. You don't need fancy equipment. If I can do it and pull this off, so can you. So, I'm gonna link this in Amazon. I got it delivered. Oh. So, let me show you everything I got. Now, Indian food's very colorful. Um, very, very colorful food. Here we go. I'm not gonna show you the photos, but I'll read for you what I have. Now, I have seven curries. Did I go overboard? A little bit. I'm like, is this enough food? This was over $100. We have paneer masala. We have korma. We have palak paneer. We have butter chicken. We have tikka masala. Uh, mild and tikka masala medium. So they, the restaurant asked me, how spicy do you want it? Hot, medium, or mild? I didn't get anything hot because I don't know, I don't trust their hotness. <laughs> it could really F it up, you know what I mean? So I got some things that were mild and some things that were medium. Now tikka masala I got two. One will be medium and one will be mild. And I'll tell you which I like more. We got non bread with some of them. We got rice with others. 
cheesy naan bread, just one order. Uh, we got chicken biryani, which is a delicious, spicy looking rice. I had it with Hungry Patrick. Oh my God, it looks so amazing and delicious. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be super red, like hers was red, it looked awesome. But we have to see. And then we also have uh, uh, two orders of veggie samosa. I didn't realize that each order is one piece. So I got two orders thinking I'd have like a clump. No, it's two little triangles, but that's okay. This should still be enough food. And um, I love curries. And I'm so excited to share this with you. My first Indian feast. Trying Indian food for the first time. It's a little clickbait. If I put that title, I don't know how I'm going to title this. I try to be creative with my titles, as you know. So I just sent off Orlin, my peasant, to go pick it up because, you know, that's what I do with him. You either pick up the food or you don't get paid, which is it. <laughs> so, hi. I'm really excited. Hi, Indians. Are Indians watching this? Um, they say India will be a world leader in the future. Like, they're already leading, again, with some things compared to their neighbors. A lot of good things coming out of that. But um, in other ways, too, I keep hearing that they one day will be, like, a world leader. Like... Like, up there with, like, USA and Great Britain. Like, just like this. I don't know what's going to happen, but um, I'm excited, you know. I think Indian guys are so handsome. Oh, my gosh. And um, their food's really good. I like their music. I love their cultural dress. I've never been to India. I've been to Thailand, which is kind of close. But not really, but kind of. Um, and... Uh, you know, I like the idea that some are vegetarian. That's kind of cool, you know. I personally don't believe in it. I think we do need some meat for health. But they, I don't think health is in their discussion when they choose not to eat meat. I think it's them saying that cows are sacred. Something like that. So, yeah. I got all chickens, okay? I didn't get any beef. Um, I'm so excited. So if you are Indian and you're watching this video, welcome to my channel. I am so sorry that you won't find any other Indian videos on this channel. But if this video does well and it gets good feedback and the CPM is good and I'm, I make the money back, <laughs> I just spent $100, then I'll do it again because I personally love Indian food. So that's all I really have to say. Now we just kind of sit here and wait. Ah, <sighs> Jeepers creepers. So... I'm so excited. Mm, I'm very excited. Now, um, my channel, uh, for the new Indians that might have found this video, my channel's a lot about my weight, but we say over here it's just water weight. You know, sodium retention, water retention. When you eat a lot of salt, your fingers swell, your face swells, your double chin gets bit. I look kind of skinny, actually, because I'm an old black. I Do I look like I'm 400 pounds? Like, be honest, I actually don't from this angle. <laughs> Angles matter. I have the camera up there facing down. Okay, but I turn to the side as I'm pregnant. <clears throat> oh, the Apple emojis. They finally have me included in their emojis. Pregnant. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy about that, and um, we're not going to talk about that. But what I will say is that I'll push that, that emoji button anyway because that's what I look like. Like, why can't we just say it's a fat man? Because, let's be real, most Americans press that button look like that. <laughs> ah, cheapers creepers. I literally, I look very large and in charge. But it's just water weight. All right. I had a little too much salt and I'm swelling. It'll come right out tomorrow. That's what I say. I've been saying that for five years, but one day it'll come out. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You guys never really get to see me this genuinely happy. And it better be beautiful and it better be good. Because if it's not, I'll be calling corporate. I'll be calling that restaurant and saying, excuse me. This is not a food. I'm going to starve because of you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's rare to see me this excited for something. I think because it's different. I think because I know that I love it. Um, but it's also the first time on this channel to be eating Indian food. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm kind of just like blabbing to take up time. Let's be real. There's really nothing to say. Buy my shirts, they're back on the market. It took a long time, it took five months to get them all reprinted and all organized and uh, I had to spend a lot of money. <laughs> Help me, I'm poor. I spent so much getting this ready, but it's ready and I'm really excited. Even you'll see that the tags are different, but I'll get into that later. <clears throat> all right, I'll see you when the food gets here. Bye.
I'm so excited for Indian food. Oh my gosh. So excited. I'm back. Home. Shoo doo. I'm home. Hello. We're back home. Shoo doo. We're home. Hello. And this is hot and steamy because we're eating India food. Let's see. Oh, this is heavy. This is all the naan bread, the garlic naan bread, and the, oh, this is my order of cheesy bread. Oh, yes. <clears throat> okay, see here, I told you we got a lot. A lot to, ooh, oh my gosh, I don't know how to take that out. Okay, so here's something. These must be uh, my rices. Oh, that's a decent amount of rice. <gasps> this is the biryani. Oh my gosh. Look, can you see that? This is, oh, it came with sauces, all these sauces. Ooh, lots of sauces. Green sauce, plum, oh, is that for the samosas? Wait, I kinda wanna show you this. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, they crammed it in here, ooh. They crammed it, ooh, they crammed it in here. How look how seasoned that is. It doesn't even look real. <laughs> you India okay oh this is to the top curry number one. Oh, they labeled it for me okay here's the mild oh the korma Ooh. Ooh, everything's so greasy everything's very hot oh the tikka masala oh what's this one this is the butter chicken oh my god look at that color I don't know where to put everything. Did I get enough food? I think I did. And we have paneer. Ooh, <gasps> it's burning hot. My fingers literally hurt from touching that. Yay, we're doing something other than fast food. You peasants better be happy. You better be happy. I always have fast food. We're doing something different. So I'm gonna set this up to be pretty. I don't know how it's all gonna fit. I might have to get a, like a cookie sheet. Spread it out. I probably will. I'll be right back. One, two, three. Bam! Wow! I'm very proud of myself. So I actually repackaged these. I just put. Thank you, Cheesecake Factory. I'm a, a big fan of that place. <laughs> I've spent probably $2,000 at least at Cheesecake Factory. Maybe more. Maybe $5,000. Too much. Over the course of my lifetime. And I like to save the containers because they're really like big and sturdy and black. And they taste great. <laughs> they're really fun. I mean, they're great for holding stuff. And I wanted them to be more uniform. And I wanted it to be a little darker. It was a little too, like, boom. So I'm an artist, as you know. That's what I do. So let's get into this. Where's my list? We have a lot of stuff going on. We have the butter chicken, which I thought would be less red. That's very red. Butter chicken. We have the paneer masala. We have the korma. We also have a different type of paneer. This is called palak paneer. It has some green stuff in there. And then we have two types of chicken tikka masala. We have a mild one and a medium one. Or I think that's medium and that's mild. We'll have to find out. Nothing here was spicy. I had a choice of hot, medium, or mild. I got nothing hot because that can kind of ruin a dish. You never know how spicy their version of spicy is. And each thing's like 16 or 17 dollars per dip so i didn't want to mess it up with so no <clears throat> we got all mild and mediums we have some cheese naan we have some regular doughy naan and we also have two vegetable samosas if you don't know what a samosa is it's kind of like an empanada it's kind of like a dumpling oh that's beautiful we got two and it comes with this special dip which i also put in there and then it also came with these see there was Thanks, I saved containers from Cheesecake Factory. Just, they're good reusable. Oh, no, what? Excuse me, some of these came from Chinese food, but that doesn't matter where it comes from. And it came with a, <laughs> Kevin talk, I'm so excited. We have a purple sauce, like a plum sauce, and then we have a green cilantro fresh sauce. Those are for the samosas. Let's begin. Oh, cheaper creepers. Now I might need a bib. I don't know, probably. It's gonna get really messy in here. It's gonna get really messy. Oh no. It's gonna get so messy, it's not gonna be okay. 
we're gonna be calling corporate. Okay, so these I feel like are gonna fall. I just put them there for the thumbnail. Oops. Let's move these out the way. For now. Oh. Cheers. I have some cold water here. And we're let's get into this show. Here we go. What are we gonna have first? Oh my. Now, oh, if you don't realize, Indian food is very, very messy. You're supposed to eat with your hands. Okay, I don't wanna hear you're, you're so sloppy. Here, we'll start with these. These are technically appetizers. Okay. This is like some type of something, something. Ooh, cheers. That has vegetables, it's deep fried. What is it? I don't know, I don't care. It's so good. Mmm! Mmm! And if you skip the intro, I have um, my new, sh my shirts are back on the market. Oh! I love this one. We have I Identify as Skinny. For the people out there who identify as skinny. <laughs> mm. And we also have, it's just one away. Those were my top two sellers. <gasps> I don't know what type of, it, Indians, please help me out. What did I just eat? What is that? Mm. All right, it's time to get down to business. This is gonna get really messy. Just a warning. So first, we're gonna take some naan bread. Kind of rip it up a little bit. And let's start with the butter chicken. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh my God, here we go. I have something to drip down here. Butter chicken. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Don't look at me. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is the tastiest thing about I know my mouth. Don't worry, I'll wipe it. Oh! Do you know India has more rates of diabetes than the USA? Now I know why. Everything has dairy and butter and lots of Oh my god. <laughs> Don't listen to me. That is so good. <clears throat> that tastes better than fast food. That's addictive. That's basically spicy butter. Creamy, spicy, I'm so sorry, I know. Don't tell me, I know. I won't do that again. I'll be a little more flight. <sighs> oh my God. I feel like this is gonna get ripped, I'm so sorry. 
Please forgive me. We're only getting started. That was so tasty. Like, I can't believe this is real life. Okay, we're gonna do smaller pieces. Let's do the paneer masala. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's spicy. That's a medium spice. Oh, I definitely taste it. Good thing I didn't get hot. Oh. Korma. This was me and Hungry Fat Chick's uh, favorite. Now this is the palak paneer. Now it's the masala paneer. Okay, this one has the vegetables or something. <clears throat> something green, oh no. My body's like, I can't handle. put on gloves. Would that be better for you? Stop it. Oh, stop it. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is delicious. The texture is good. Now, I've watched Indian people eat their food. They use their hands. It's messy. Korma. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of chicken. Here we go. There's chicken in here. Mm. This is heaven. I know it's really messy. I'm so. I there we go. <laughs> This is, why do people have fast food? Why don't people have Indian food? Why has nobody told me? Everyone in the comments says, Nick, have steak and potatoes. I want steak and potatoes. I want this. The paneer masala. Are you looking at this? Do you see the magic in here? This butter chicken might be my favorite. Oh my God. This can stay. Oh, Orlin. The butter chicken has spice in there. I did not know. <clears throat> I might put, try putting on gloves. What? That means I have to wash my hands first. <gasps> what happened to your face? I'm eating. This is the Indian way. They use their fingers. They just dunk it in. They go. Wah, 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 wah. I've watched them. They're like. Wah, 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 wah. I'm like. I want to do it too. I think you've just been seeing yourself in the mirror. No. Because that's how you eat normally. So what do you need? I'm so good. What do you need? What did you call me for? You know how much work it has to move my body? <laughs> That's my excuse, not yours. 
I want to see which one's spicier. Do you need anything? Yes, in a minute. Do I have to wipe again? Ooh, this one's spicier. Wow! I think I should have black gloves on, what do you think? Maybe that's a good idea, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna disturb all the Indians who are trying to see this American boy eat this. You ain't no boy. <clears throat> what? You ain't no boy. What am I? A pig. I'm an it. A pig, I'm no. an animal. Wait, I have to go wash my hands first. <gasps> Excuse me, this is so good. I will be right back, everybody. We're only getting the party started. I'll be right back, bye. I cleaned up, I washed my face, I washed my hands, I put on gloves. I feel like I just triggered a lot of people. And it's so messy. It's supposed to be messy. Same with Ethiopian food. If anything, Ethiopian food, they'll feed it to other people. Hands will come in your mouth. Okay, I know firsthand. People will t take their hands and just go, eat it. And they'll just shove it in your mouth. And you're like, oh. you have no escape. And you can't say no, they'll be angry. Excuse me. Okay, one of these is very, I think these three have the spice, these three have no spice. No, that one does have spice too. Um, I, so some of them have medium and some of them have mild, right? Um, the medium spice is a lot. This tikka masala, that, like my mouth was like on fire. I can't imagine what the, fi the fiery hot version would be like. I can't handle it. So I think if I were to reorder this, I would get only um, all mild, nothing spicy. Okay, we're gonna do the korma. Mm. Palak paneer. Mm. I love that one. It's very comforting. It reminds me of like when you're a child and your mom makes you oatmeal, it's like warm and comforting. Oh, did I spill? Oh, that's a rip. I'm like, wow, making a mess everywhere. I'm so sorry. Did I rip this? Okay. Let's do, um, let's try some cheese, mom. Or did I already have it? See, I'm going so, oh, this is, this has cheese. I'm going so quickly that I'm not like paying attention to what's cheese and what's not. Only one of them was cheese. I only got one order of cheese. Uh, this butter chicken is phenomenal. The color, the taste, the flavor, the thickness. I mean, it is butter. Oh, I have to try my uh, bariyaki. Okay, here I go. Mm. <laughs> Nice and polite for you. As it drips down my face. I don't know how else you're supposed to make it not drip. Do you know? Nobody knows. Uh. Oh, man. Chicken biryani. Now this looks very spicy. It's chicken. <sighs> oh my God. That is some amazingly tasty rice. Did not mean to do that. Oh my god, I mean we have white rice.
Mmm. This white rice, um, is very good. I think uh, my friend Candy told me the type of rice they tend to use. Or maybe that was Orlin. I think I was relaying the info to Orlin saying they had the best white rice ever. He's like, yeah, because they use this certain type. It's not jasmine, it's a different type. Um, and they salt it and oil it or butter it or something. Not butter, it's probably oil. That was some good white rice. The other types of rice, but I learned my lesson in the past. Only these two. This is a disgrace. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's my fault. No. It's your fault. <clears throat> you made me do it. Okay. Now, let's try to really tell which one's the spicy chicken, the tikka masala. Oh, wait. Oh wait, that's definitely spicy. But you know they taste equally spicy to me. I hate to admit it. I don't know if they really differentiate between medium and mild. Maybe they did a little bit, but I can't tell actually. Ooh! This might be spicier because there's more of an after effect. Let's do this one now. Maybe that's the spicy one. All I know is that I prefer it without the spice. That is some hot chicken tikka, tikka masala. Uh, have you ever had naan bread? It's so gooey and doughy. <clears throat> All right, let's do this one again. This is the masala paneer, which I think I did medium spice. Mmm, that is good. Yep, there's the spice. I think going forward, all mild spices, please. The medium is too hot for me. Ooh. Yeah. Too spicy. Well, I know what my favorites are. It's the butter chicken and then the korma. And I think this is my second favorite. After the butter chicken, it would be this one here. The palak paneer. Mm. It reminds me of baby food. And you're like, Nick, that's so gross. No, it's like comforting. Like comforting baby food. Oatmeal or something. Mm. Oh, I am sweating out my scalp. I can feel it from... These three culprits. I think this one's the spiciest, actually. Oh, my tongue is numb. It's like they use Sichuan peppers or something. I thought only Chinese had Sichuan. They have something in here that makes your tongue numb and tingly. Oh, and then by eating anything that's hot, because these are still, I want to call these hot, they're warm. Because liquid takes a long time to cool down. So even though I bought these half an hour ago, they're still warm because liquid, as you know, it'll take an hour or two for it to go down. <sighs> Woo! Let's do some more white. Now, I know you're supposed to combine your rice with your. Let's do that. This was my drip bowl. <gasps> Excuse me. I'm going to take some butter chicken. Ooh, some butter chicken, and we're gonna add a little bit of white rice in here. <clears throat> now that's what you're supposed to do. Kind of like mix them up like that, see? And you kind of take a scoop of, ooh, let's get some actual chicken. All right, see that? 
let's combine in my mouth. Heaven. Heaven. Heaven on earth. Ooh, that is so good. Now, do I like... Naan's way... Naan is very doughy and chewy. Let's do another one of the samosas. Where's the other samosa? Ooh. I have it here on this plate, which you can not see. Huh. We have a samosa. <clears throat> um, Naan's very chewy, very doughy. Very delicious. And I really liked this green sauce. My tongue is still numb, everybody. I have, I'm gonna call this spicy Indian food or something. Now this got a little curries dropping in it, but that's okay. The bottom part is, I don't know what sauce, it's like a plum sauce, but I don't think it's plums. Mmm. You guys, I'm sweating. I feel sweat dripping down. Can you see from all the way back there? I have sweat dripping down my hair. <clears throat> it's my cheek. Ooh. I would not want to eat the spicy version. I know I've said that five times. Okay, sorry. It's just like, my tongue, help. <laughs> These are good. You know what? I like Cheesecake Factories more. I will be honest. They're a little crispier. This is doughy. It's deep fried, but it's still very doughy. Cheesecake Factory, if you like it crispy, they have some crispy samosas. There's no crunch at all, which is fine. Now, if you look in into the ingredients of this stuff, it is pure fat, <laughs> literally. Like, this is all liquid, pretty much. Can you see, is it like blurry? I can't tell what you guys can see. This is very, um, this is liquid. It's pure butter and oil. <sighs> That's what it is. So it's a lot of fat, it's a lot of fat. <gasps> Excuse me, oh sorry. I'm so happy for India. They struck down that old penal code for the British Empire, saying that uh, two guys can't get together. They should be able to get together, and they can now. God. I'm so happy for them. And then on one hand, I'm so scared for all the people in the northern neighbors that stoned them. You know, it's just like, oh my God. And then I saw this article, like I said, about this prince <clears throat> who's, try who's working, hasn't happened yet, but really wants to make it illegal to, to have conversion places. That don't work. Name someone it's worked for, you can't. You can't, you can't. And what's the big deal? I don't even know what the big deal is. They're like, oh, it's unnatural. Yep, yeah. well, if we look at nature, every other species has two guys getting it on sometimes, or two girls. Every other species. Fish, dolphins, dogs, the list goes on, elephants. Now, like, if it hurts somebody, you know, if it's stealing from, you know, taking money that doesn't belong to you, or, I mean, okay, those are problems, but this affects nobody. So I'm really happy for India. We'll see what happens. It'll probably take a long time for anything to happen, but at least someone's doing something freely. Um, yeah, I have someone 
in my life, not close, close, but pretty close. Can I even say the name of the country? Starts with an I and sounds like a fan. But it starts with an I. I. An. Okay? I don't know if they want me to say this country. <clears throat> that is hell on earth. Not only for people like me, but women. I mean, it, it is hell on earth. Um, and the amount of people like me who have been slain by the government, by their own family, and it's perfectly legal. <sighs> oh my god, I feel full. I've had a lot of butter and oil. <laughs> I have one more of my favorites. The tikka masalas were tasty, but they were too spicy. I can't enjoy them. They're too spicy. Um, and this one was delicious, but again, too spicy. So if these were not spicy, these three, the um, masala paneer, the tikka masala, and the tikka masala, if these three were not spicy, I would call them all equally amazing. Nothing stood out to me as being better than the other. This surprised me, this green one, the palak, palak paneer. Mm. But do I like it more than the butter chicken or the korma? Not necessarily. Ah. What's made in there? Chickpeas or something? I don't know. I've eaten the most butter <coughs> chicken. Oh, man. Let's do the korma. Mm. Okay, I definitely like these two more than the korma. These two. The palak paneer and the butter chicken. Top two for me. <sighs> my battery is about to die. Orlin! We can make him change it because my hands are messy. Because I still want to talk to you. I don't know what to talk about. I just want to sit and digest and hang out with you for a couple more minutes. This was so good, everybody. Hey, Orlin. What? Can you come here? <laughs> what? What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? If I'm calling you during a mukbang, it's obviously to come here and do something for me. The think he just started working for me yesterday. This man has been working for me five years. What's wrong now? Still acts like he doesn't know what I want when I call his name during a mukbang. What else do you think I want? A salad. Turn it off, please. You have to go potty. Okay, so Orlin, thank you. He says this is called Bismini. Basmani? I think. I'm not sure. Basmani rice. Well, so, I honestly don't know. I know it's long, long grains. It's long. Okay, I put it on a different camera mode, so you should really be able to see this now, like up close. Maybe if I. Uh, put this in front of you. I want you to really see. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, look at that. Ooh, I know what it, it does. It sees my black gloves and gets really bright. That's okay. Ooh. Yeah, Orlin came in with the, the battery. He's like, you barely made a dent. I'm like, I'm so full. He's like, where did all, I'm like, if this is straight up oil and fat, which it is, each spoonful, each spoonful of oil is like 150 calories. Spoonful. And I've been dunking everything in there. It's probably two spoonfuls per bite, plus the bread. I've probably had 2,000 calories in front of you. Because I've had like 30 bites. Each bite's 200 calories. I've had 6,000 calories according to that logic. Probably not that much, but still. I'm like really like, oh, oh my god. <sighs> And give korma another try. I don't dislike the korma. It's just not as spectacular as the palak paneer or the butter chicken today. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> oh, man. Mmm. 
Mmm. Oh, I'm so full. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna freaking pop. <laughs> I'm so full. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> All right. Well, my last bite, I guess, will be Palak paneer. Mmm. Now, I also want to say. If you're gonna go run out and get Palak Paneer and you don't like it, don't blame it on me. Every restaurant is different. When I had Indian food a couple weeks ago, the korma wasn't as special, the korma. But I had Indian food in November, six months ago, and out of the entire spread, butter chicken, tikka masala, the korma was my favorite. And now, it's one of my least favorites. Same dish made a different way by different people different companies different families different restaurants so if you go out and get one of these things i'm like ooh, the butter chicken is so good last time i liked the tikka masala the best now i like the butter chicken the most and the last time i had indian food the tikka masala was the dark dark bright uh, the really highly pigmented red color so that's why i got two thinking that it would be super red. This time, the butter chicken's more red than the tikka masala. But it was the opposite last time I ate Indian from a different restaurant. See what I mean? So, um, man, I'm really sad about the tikka masala. It's not bad, it just burr, it just makes me sweat. Um, it's a lot to take. And I loved this. Okay, we'll do one more. The pal palak, the masala paneer. Mmm. Where's the spice? Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Yep, I feel it's like in my head. It's like something shoots up to my brain and then I start releasing water weight. <laughs> Ooh, I actually like that more than the, the corn is not good to me. Not, it's not, not good. It's just, we're splitting hairs now. It's also good. Okay, I definitely like Palak Masala better than the Korma from this restaurant, even though it's too spicy. Ooh, run it up to my scalp. I'm really full. It looks like I barely ate. Trust me, I just had 3,000 calories in front of you. I'm gonna have one last bite out there. Their rice is good. Mm. And that's all. That's my mukbang. What do you think? Did I good? Did I do a good job? And did you eat with me? These videos, technically. You're supposed to turn it on your TV, put it on your phone, put the phone down, grab something to eat, and we're supposed to eat together. So you're not alone when you eat, and you're gonna be entertained by all my, all my BS. And all my messy, messy, messy. I mean, it ran down my chin and everything. Whew. Whew. The spice is still on my tongue. It's like a special, a special pepper that they put in these. It's a lot to handle. <laughs> but I'll see you guys for another video very soon. I need to go lay down and digest right now. I feel like on cloud nine, I feel very interesting and special. Ooh. Thank you guys for commenting. Please do Indian food. And also thank you to the hungry fat chick. If you guys want to see me have Indian um, another time, go to her channel and watch me eat it there. That was so good. She, uh, kind of influenced me to do this video in a way too. Uh, excuse me, I didn't even tell her I was gonna do it. <clears throat> Did it say a peep? I'm trying not to say any peeps because she's, well, she'll tell you what. If she wants it, she'll, 
she'll tell you what she's up to if she wants. I'm not gonna say anything, but um, all I'm trying to say is I just wanted to do it because I like Indian food. So there you go. My tongue still feels <sighs> very funny. Ah, uh, wow. And I got, good thing I have lots of napkins in this place. The entire apartment smells like curry. And like, like onions. Like a bag of onions. But it's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. And thank you, India, for being um, a positive change in the world these days. You've been in the news for the issues I've brought up twice in one year. First, you struck down that thing that didn't allow people like me to exist. I don't think they really enforced it too much, but it was still there. And some people that you got the discretion of a judge or something. Like, hey, I'm going to throw you in jail for 20 years because you gave this guy... Something, something. Like, oh my god. <clears throat> so thank you for striking that down. And thank you to this prince, whoever, person, trying to lead the way and getting things actually made illegal to do the things that he had to go through. Which is no longer legal in most, if not all, uh, I don't want to say western, because Australia, New Zealand, those aren't western countries. It's to the east of them, but you know what I mean. Um, that's not really a thing anymore. <laughs> By choice, yeah. Some people want to still try it out. Which I think, okay, if you personally don't like how you are and you want to see. But see, it's the freedom of choice that's so special and so important. So thank you, India, for um, doing this. And thank you for having great food. And if you are Indian, please comment this video and say hi to me. I'll be reading all the comments. I know some of y'all might be saying, this was too messy. Well, how else am I supposed to eat it? <laughs> Maybe smaller bites? I don't know. I was like, wah, 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 wah. But I've seen some of you guys on YouTube eating your food, and your faces are covered. And I see this, I'm like, oh, I could do that. That's easy. Just, I'm already messy, so. Um, hopefully, you're not too bothered by that. But I'm all clean now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Subscribe if you're new. <sighs> and I'm a food baby. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.